You go into this carton house, will not come out again. Dave has been trapped inside for three days, cannot find the exit. Annie found it hard to believe. A man of this size can be trapped by a pile of paper. So she climbed in with her friends. Now she was amazed. Inside the cardboard box was a completely different world. It looked much bigger inside than outside. Gordon accidentally cut his hand on the cardboard box. But a drop of blood was quickly absorbed by the cardboard box. There is a red button on the paper wall. Next to it was written, don't push. Don't! Oh! I felt the pain through the screen. They came to another room. A giant mask with a big mouth kept spitting out colorful paper. On either side of the wall stood two giant paper cranes. They slowly walked into the sea of waste paper. While the camera was looking around, a thousand paper cranes suddenly emerged from the pile of paper. It attacked the cameraman like a madman. The giant mask exhaled a breath of air. The door started to close down. A few people are too busy with the crane to escape. Boom used the recording stick to kill the crane. The mask also exhaled its last breath. By now the door was completely closed. Desperate people can only crawl into the mouth of the mask to find another way out. They made it to a new room without any danger. Jane was excited to run out of a hole. She thought it was fun. But the next moment she accidentally stepped on a pedal mechanism. This triggered a sophisticated underground transmission. Immediately afterwards, oh. Jane's throat was slit. A lot of red confetti sprayed out of her neck. Several people panicked and ran away. Now everyone is confused. Is she dead, or is it a prank? Her head fell off, so I'm gonna say that she's dead? I don't know. Another couple is playing hide and seek here. The man did not know that he was about to die too. This man is about to die. He was playing hide and seek with his girlfriend Bryn in a maze made of cardboard boxes. He tripped over a trap on the ground without any precautions. Next second. Bryn comes over and looks. Oh my god. Her boyfriend was stuck with six cardboard tubes through his body. His head dropped. The paper tube instantly sprayed out countless red confetti. This scared Bryn immediately ran away. She found the camera team and told them what had just happened. But when they returned to the scene, the man had disappeared without a trace. Annie helplessly took out a hobby knife and stabbed into the paper wall. She wanted to make a hole here. A sudden gust of wind hit her. Gordon told Annie to hurry up. It seemed like something unidentified was approaching them. The wind was getting stronger and stronger. Suddenly Annie cut a big hole with her knife. Everyone fled in. Only Bryn was standing still. Get out of here! A bullhead monster came after them with a heavy pace. Four people were forced to a corner. Just when they were about to give up, Dave arrives just in time. He is the builder of this paper maze. They came to a strange room. Dave went straight into the paper box on the table. Is this a magic show? Annie and the others followed him in one by one. After passing through a section of tightly woven tubes, everyone turned into little paper people. Even the camera is no exception. At this point, the Minotaur also jumped in. But the paper Minotaur does not seem to be scary. Everyone was relieved. But the next second, the crowd jumped into another pipe. They turned back into human form. Dave pulled out the rag he hadn't washed in two months and hung it on the door. This miraculously blocked the Minotaur's pursuit. What is the principle of this only Dave understand? Finally they escaped from the maze. But to their surprise, the entire living room was swallowed by the carton. Dave said that if they wanted to stop the carton from expanding, they had to place a special device in the center of the maze. So they grabbed the tools and entered the maze again. But as soon as they entered the door, they met a terrible marionette. This strange puppet was a beautiful woman until half an hour ago. She stepped on the mechanism of the maze and her head was taken off. After that, she became what she is now. At this moment she is possessed by the maze spirit. She is sometimes twitching, sometimes angry, but at other times she pretended to be enthusiastic. She wanted to use the high five to capture the group alive. The photographer almost fell for it. Dave asked Gordon to talk to the puppet here to distract her. He and Annie slipped into the other room. He used his quick hands to quickly set up the destruction device. Then Annie pulled out her long knife and plunged it into the maze of cardboard boxes. Instantly the wind blew. The puppet's body was in severe pain. Gordon took the opportunity to throw the twine around the monster. The deeper she plunged the knife, the more painful the puppet became. Finally the puppet was blown to pieces. It turned into a giant hand and began to stretch out its palm. But it slowly retracted in the tangle. But unfortunately, the other end of the twine was tied to the foot of the photographer.
The photographer gave up resistance and lost his breath. A lot of confetti gushed out. On the other hand, Annie and her team peeled away the paper wall. She kept cutting open the carton with her knife and made it to the heart of the maze. Then she put the destruction device on the turntable and plugged in the power. The whole device starts to run at a fast speed. Dave gripped the knife and slashed at it. The maze began to collapse. The Minotaur was in chaos. It was instantly overwhelmed by the cardboard boxes. Finally a few people came out alive. The living room was in a mess. Dave threw all the boxes into the garbage. But what he didn't know was, Minotaur also escaped with him. Will people be afraid of him in the real world? This is the end of the story. Do you find the carton maze scary? You can subscribe and leave a comment. See you next time.